Hey there everybody, I'm Dan and we're at the Frog Pond Veg Patch and this afternoon I am repotting some cacti. Um, I just got this one here from the garden center the other day and um, so I need to repot it and I've got a couple others that also need to be repotted. Uh, it's February so this is actually a pretty good time to, to be doing this. Um, cacti don't do any growing during the fall and the winter so I'm going to take this opportunity since I've got this new one I'm going to repot a couple of these other ones as well. So I'm going to take you through my process of getting them out of their existing pots, um, putting some new soil, getting them potted up, and we'll talk about watering and fertilizing and, and all of that as well. So come along with me and uh, we'll get going here. Before I get these out of their existing pots, I'll talk a little bit about the soil mix. So I am using a cactus specific uh, soil mix. So if you don't have a cactus mix, you can do a mixture of potting soil, sand, and perlite. You want to do three parts potting soil, three parts uh, sand or gravel and two parts then the perlite. All right, so a couple ways you can try to get the cactus out of its pot. You can use paper or I've got just got a rag here. I'm just going to gently wrap it around the spines and I'm going to use that to get it out. Um, now that I have it out, what I am going to do is I'm going to take off some of the existing soil. it's going into a slightly bigger pot so I'm going to be adding some soil and I want it to I want the new soil and the existing soil to kind of get integrated together here all right, all right. So I'm going to lay this carefully down and then I'm going to go into my my potting mix a little bit in the bottom there So I'm just testing kind of the, for the level. Uh, I want that to be a little lower. Okay. Let's tap, just tap it down a bit. And I think this guy is good to go. So I got my next one here. Um, So again, I want to take off some of this existing soil. So we're trying. And you can see that I'm not, uh, I'm not sizing these up too much from where they were. So in general, with any plant, you don't want to, you know, go from a small pot to a really big pot. You just want to size them up incrementally. So I'll put that like that and test where I'm at for the level. Yeah, and that's pretty Pretty good. All right, so last one up here is the new one that I, um, I just got the other day from uh, the garden center. And I've got the pot that's gonna go in. And so again, in terms of sizing up, I don't wanna size it up into a, a much larger pot. I'm just gonna size it up incrementally. And this guy's not so spiky, um, but at the same time, I don't, I still want to be careful with it. Eh. It's going to take out some of the soil that's here. I, another reason to do this with any house plant that you're bringing in is uh, try to reduce the, the risk of, uh, you know, bringing in any kind of pest that might be living in the, in the soil. And as I'm filling in around, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tapping the, the pot on the table just to get the soil down in there. And I want to make sure that the soil is getting in and around any of the roots. I don't want any air pockets in the soil. Um, I really like uh, growing cactus. Um, every time I'm at the garden center, no matter what it's for, I'm usually going over to their, uh, the section they have their succulents and cacti and seeing if there's anything else that I, I want to get to add to my collection, hence this new guy here. And um, so it's always, it's, it's, they're a low maintenance, um, pretty easy house plant to, uh, to get going as long as you, you know, remember a few of those kind of key rules of, they want 
well-draining soil. They don't need a lot of water, especially in the winter. One of the easiest things to do to hurt uh, your cactus is to overwater. They want, they want natural light, a nice warm, sunny location. I'm not gonna do any fertilizer until we get um, into spring and when the growing season starts back up for the, um, the cactus. But in, uh, in terms of the type of fertilizer, I like to use a cactus specific fertilizer. It takes the guesswork out of it. But in general, you wanna go with a low nitrogen type of fertilizer. All right, and so there we have it. Got everything all potted up. These are ready to go back inside. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.